Hello everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I have something kind of interesting to discuss with you this afternoon. It is a health problem I have had since I was, well, pretty much my whole life and I have never really told anyone about it. It's kind of my little hidden health problem, but I have found a solution for it and I'm so happy to be able to share it with you because maybe at, if you're anywhere near my age, most of my viewers are between 40 to 45 and maybe 70 to 75. I think maybe a lot of you might have the same problem that I have struggled with and I have found a solution and so I really can't wait to share it with you. I've got my little drink here. So that is my Kirkland Sparkling Mineral Water, which I love. So this may be a little bit of a long video because it is discussing a health problem I've had. So grab a cup of coffee or tea. I would say wine, but I'm not really into pushing wine on people and just kind of sit and listen in to see if you or someone that you know, someone you love, may suffer from the same problem too. And the problem that I have had that I've never really told anyone about is hearing loss. And it goes back pretty much my whole life. When I was a small child back in the 50s, I was born in 1958, so I guess it would be back in the 60s, I would routinely get ear infections. I mean, I can remember being at the babysitter's house and just lying in this darkened bedroom for hours at a time because one of my ears, it's this ear, my left ear, was just pounding and throbbing and my eardrums would break and I would always have drainage out of this ear and it got to be so bad that my mother would always take me to the doctor. They would actually go ahead and just rupture my eardrum. He would say, you know, look at it and say, well, that ear looks terrible. It's going to rupture anyway. So let's just go ahead and hit it with a scalpel and go ahead and rupture it. And this probably happened, I don't know, eight or 10 times, maybe even more. It was a regular part of my childhood to get my eardrum ruptured. And basically what happened is over time, I started to lose hearing in that ear. And when I was about 25 years old, I was just married to Alan, maybe about six months. I went to an ENT in town for the first time. I finally went to an ENT instead of just a primary care physician because I had yet another ear infection, I thought. And he looked at my ear and he said, he, he gave me a long word and I could not remember the long word at that time, but he said, you have what we commonly call cherry pit disease. I'm thinking, what is that? Cherry pit disease. And I'm 25 years old. I don't know about the idea of getting second opinions or anything like that. I'm brand new at being an adult and kind of brand new at medical care. He said, it's basically a little tumor that is growing behind your ear as a result of all those ear infections you've had. And that if you don't take care of it, it could grow into your brain and cause a brain tumor and you could die. I, something like that. It was this crazy thing. And so to make a long story short, he recommended this surgery to remove this little tumor type thing or little growth behind my eardrum. And I had that surgery when I was 25 years old. And I remember the morning of the surgery, I said to him, finally, I can't believe I didn't ask him this before, but I said, well, I hear better after the surgery. And he said, oh no, you'll be lucky if you don't hear much worse. And he said he suffered from the same thing and that he'd had the same surgery, but he said it is very important for you to get it for the future health of your hearing. And so I went ahead and had the surgery and almost immediately I could hear a lot less well out of this ear because whenever you are doing surgery and going through that eardrum, you're going to affect your hearing in some way. And so to make a long story short, since I was 25 and had that surgery, the hearing in this ear was markedly less. And in fact, you know, I'm in business. I've been in business with my sister for 25 years in our company. And always, whenever I would talk on the phone, which I do a lot in my business, I would never be able to talk on the left side because I just couldn't hear quite as well. I'd always favor my right side. I was always just conscious of the fact that I didn't hear as well in that ear. And coincidentally, for the next 20, 30, 40 years of my life, getting up to about now, Whenever I would go to the doctor and they would look at that ear, they would say, oh, that's kind of a mess in there. And I would say, well, I had this thing that this doctor called cherry pit disease, which he cut out of my ear. And they would all say, I've never heard of cherry pit disease. And so for all of those years, I kind of had a resentment against that doctor. He was very old at the time and he left practice. So I didn't know what became of him. But I thought, oh, he just found a 25 year old who didn't know what was going on and he wanted to make the surgery fee. And I had a slight bit of resentment to him every time I thought about that situation my whole life because my hearing just is not as good in my left ear. Well, roll it all up to the present day and maybe about three months ago, I get an email in my email from a man named Ben Thompson, Dr. Ben Thompson. And he and his brother are both doctors of audiology. Garrett worked at an audiology practice in New York City and Ben, who reached out to me, did his work in the San Francisco area at a big university medical center there. 
Well, to make a long story short, maybe about five years ago, they realized that hearing aids were basically too expensive for people out there. And the way that it had always been done in the past was that if you needed a hearing aid, you went to a brick and mortar place and they gave you a hearing test and they prescribed a hearing aid. And basically hearing aids are very expensive, like $5,000 or even more, because when you're going to get that hearing aid, you're also supporting that brick and mortar store and all of those additional staff members. Well, Ben and his brother Garrett realized that they felt there was a need in the marketplace for an online audiology service, primarily helping people with hearing aids, and also they have great expertise in dealing with tinnitus. I'm not sure the pronunciation on that, but tinnitus is when you have this persistent ringing or buzzing or clicking in your ear that you hear all of the time. And both Ben and Garrett and their other staff of audiologists are very well trained in helping people deal with tinnitus, which I had always thought was not curable in the past. All of that, and I am so happy because when I wear my hearing aid in my left ear, which I'll show you in just a few minutes how it looks. In fact, I've worn it in many videos and you've probably not even noticed it because hearing aids these days, you really can't hardly see them. They're just great in that way. But before I get into the specifics and show you this hearing aid, I'll take you to the Treble Health website. That is the name of their company, treblehealth.com. It says, personal hearing aid recommendations from an expert audiologist. Find the right solution for your hearing from the convenience of your own home. Schedule a free consultation. And then it says, hear them clearly for the first time. And my hearing loss had really started to catch up with me maybe in the last couple of years because Alan realized that I was always saying, huh, what did you say, huh? And he'd say, Beth, you need to listen more. And I'm like, Alan, I just can't hear you. And it was kind of embarrassing and he would kind of get mad about it. And then I noticed in parties and stuff, sometimes I wouldn't really be clear on what someone had said, but I didn't want to say, huh? I didn't want to ask them again. And so half the time, I just kind of sat back from the conversation and just kind of pretended that I was hearing. And one really telltale sign was that when I was the only one watching TV and someone would come into the room afterwards, like Alan, he would say, oh my gosh, this is so loud, turn this down. And then I would realize, oh my gosh, it really was loud. And I did not even realize that because I had to turn up the volume of the sound so much so that I could really hear clearly. So getting back to Ben reaching out to me in the service, basically what it is is, if you think you or your loved one suffers from hearing loss, you can contact treblehealth.com. They have four different audiologists, two males and two females, and one of them will conduct a free hearing consultation with you and let you know how to get the hearing test you need in order for them to prescribe a hearing aid if that is in fact what would help you. And I just wanted one. I didn't want to use two. I just wanted one in my affected ear. And when they send this to you, it is pre-programmed for your exact level of hearing loss. And here is a look at me in my little video room getting my first consultation with Dr. Ben Thompson. And then basically you have that one and then you wear the hearing aid for three weeks to a month. You have to do that because apparently the hearing aid kind of wakes up those nerves that have been asleep in your ear, that connection between your ear and your brain. So you need to use it for about 30 days and then you have a second consult with your audiologist at Treble Health and they're able to help you with any issues or problems you had and just check up to make sure it's going well. And mine was going very well. So here is a look at that little tiny hearing aid. That's it. And basically here it is, I just stick it behind my ear there. The big part goes behind your ear. And then there's a little earbud here, little bud. And you just take that and you stick it down in your ear canal. I learned through all this that that's called an ear canal. And then there's a little, I don't know what it is, but it's a little plastic thing that sticks out that you put up in your ear. But there it is all in my ear and you can't even see it. I have a beauty YouTube channel, obviously. And I am so happy that you cannot see that hearing aid. That is how good they've gotten. The major part of it is behind my ear, which even if you had short hair, you, you can't really see that. And they give you a color that blends in with your hair, but you cannot see that at all. And the neat thing is that just a few moments ago, I really wasn't hearing even myself speak that much. And now I totally have great hearing and it is wonderful. And basically it is the big unit behind your ear that you put in this little charging box every single night. You just plug it in. I keep it right there with my phone. And then every night it charges up and in the morning you put it back in your ear again and you can hear. It's absolutely wonderful. And so there's the big part of the unit behind the ear. There's a little clear piece that goes here. You can't even see it. And then there's the unit that goes in your ear canal and a little tiny kind of a little clear plastic 
maybe antenna, I'm not sure, but it goes in your ear itself. And I've had this hearing aid now for about two months and it has really just changed my life. And I have to say first to Treble Health and Dr. Ben Thompson and his brother Garrett, thank you so much for reaching out to me. You just have no idea the quality of life improvement that I've had. I am no longer listening to TV at blurringly high levels. I'm not saying huh all the time or what'd you say, that kind of thing, so I'm not making Alan mad. I am now being able to be in groups of people at parties and that kind of thing, and I can totally hear what's going on, and it is so wonderful to be really a part of the game. And that is something that I've realized about people our age. When we start to get hearing loss, it's very mild at first, but little by little, it takes up more and more and more of your life. And that last symptom I was having where being at a party, I would kind of sit back and pretend I understood, but I really miss a large part of what was going on. That is really common with people our age, and it really results in social isolation over time. And I have to admit that it used to be that I'd see older people wearing these huge hearing aids, and I would think, I never want to go there because I don't want to have that look. If you or someone you love is suffering from hearing loss and you'd like to check this out to see if maybe a hearing aid through Treble Health would be right for you, then I'll post a link below the video. I don't make any money at all if you, if you use that link. I don't make any money from Treble Health at all. I just wanted to share this with you. And basically, if you go and press that link, it will take you to a page where you can schedule your free initial hearing consultation with Treble Health. Well, that was the beginning of my hearing improvement journey, and I am so happy that I got with Treble Health, and I love it that I can share this information with you and perhaps save you money if you need to purchase more hearing aids, if you already have hearing aids, but also if you have hearing loss or tinnitus, I'm glad to bring you a way to see if perhaps this program could be right for you too. Well, I always like to bring you with a little thought for the day at the end of the video, and I really don't have time for that. I guess my thought is, if you are suffering from hearing loss, tinnitus, or any type of medical problem at all, it is never too late to get help and you are worth it. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.